Live look outside right now, seeing a little bit more sunshine. So if you missed it, I think we're going to see a bit more today. As we take a look right now in downtown Davenport, nice start to the day, 61 degrees outside. So it feels pretty comfortable. And, and when we're comparing to yesterday, I think temperatures and the humidity is going to feel a little similar. So it was actually pretty comfortable yesterday. But again, I think the one difference is we should see a little more sunshine. So that should be some good news there. Here's a look at the month of July so far. So we are now at the, or finished with the third week of July. We're getting close to the end of the month. And we've actually had a pretty decent month. July is usually the hottest month of the year for us. It's usually the month that we see most of our 90 degree days. But anywhere you see on blue here in the calendar, that's below normal for that day. So we haven't seen too much, uh, too many days in that above normal or that red category here. So it's actually been a pretty decent month of July for us. We're actually below normal when it comes to average temperatures, sitting at 60 or 73.6 degrees. Normal average should be 75.6. So we're two degrees below normal. It's actually pretty impressive. And again, we're getting close to the end of the month and we stay up pretty nice for the next couple of days. But I do think some July heat is going to creep back in very soon. Here is a look at live radar, though. We do see some very spotty showers, maybe a brief thunderstorm here and there. Other than that, I think the rest of us just seeing a couple clouds across the area. Go, again, going to expect to see a little bit more sunshine. We have a pretty weak area of high pressure that should continue to keep us fairly dry. However, there is a boundary off to our north. This is going to kind of impact us for the next couple of days. You can see a nice cluster of storms off in Wisconsin going to continue to travel south. We could see a couple of showers and thunderstorms later on tonight, but mainly for areas off to the north. When we get into the new work week, however, I think more of us can kind of be on guard for maybe a passing shower or storm. And you can see it, those rain chances, not really that impressive as we head through the first half of the week either. Again, the coverage looks really spotty. So let's take a look at this on future track. As we take a look at today, highs are going to be in the low 80s. Again, similar to yesterday, a mix of sun and clouds here and there. As we get into later on this evening, you can kind of see that instability working in, especially north of the Quad Cities. So that's kind of where we'll keep maybe the chance for a passing shower or storm into later on this afternoon and evening. Now we completely quiet skies out. Once we get that sun to set, you lose all that energy and we stay fairly dry. This is kind of going to be what we see over the next couple of days. So highs tomorrow go to be in the low 80s. I Still think we're going to see lots of sunshine, but you can see with that sun, we could see some pop up showers and storms throughout the afternoon and evening. That basically happens again going into Tuesday. Once we get into the afternoon and evening, a very isolated chance for a passing shower or storm. And then heading into the overnight hours, we just completely dry out. So good news is we don't expect any severe weather. We don't expect too much in terms of heavy rainfall, which is good news because our rivers have been elevated and they're going to continue to fall here over the next several days. So we'll keep that spotty isolated chance on the board, especially heading into the first half of the new week and then we'll get a nice sunshine stretch for the rest of the week and into next weekend could be next weekend though that we start to talk about some heat could get back to 90 degrees